Hi, today I have an interesting comparison. One of the slowest rackets against one of the fastest rackets on the table tennis market. On the one hand, we have the slowest racket, which is the blade Butterfly Inner Force Layer ZLF with Flextra rubbers yeah, on each side. And, and the other racket is a Butterfly Primoraj Carbon Blade in combination with Butterfly Dignix 05 rubbers. It feels already heavy and is for sure a rocket. I have never played both rackets myself, so I am also very curious about the test. I will make some comparisons like a speed test, check the trajectories and some subjective tests like contact length. For whom which racket is more suitable and the pros and cons then at the end. Have fun and let's go! Let's start with the bounce test. My Dignix 09C is pretty sticky, so it doesn't bounce very high when we drop the ball on the racket. I am curious how extreme the differences are of these two rackets. Okay, I hope it's the same height. That's a very clear difference between the fast and the slow racket. I would like to test the trajectory for the counter spin. Let's see if there are serious differences here. Wow, what a huge difference. The slow racket has a much higher trajectory, but the, but the faster racket is really direct and goes for the point. I'm not the player with the hardest punch, but I'll put all my power into the next matchup, the speed test. There should be actually be a serious difference. Okay, we have the Speedmaster here. I give my all in, so let's see what's, what's happening. Okay, that was the slow racket. Yeah, it feels you can control it quite well. Um, compared to my normal racket, a little bit less spin, but let's see what the fastest racket will do. Okay, around 20 kilometers per hour difference. That's a lot for such a small difference between your opponent and you. And so maybe that's uh, the biggest difference between the, these two rackets. With rotation, it will also depend strongly on the rubber, how grippy it is. I hope we can clarify this visually but I will also describe my subjective feeling. The two colored balls will help us to recognize the rotation better. Uh. 
Whew. Okay. The fastest racket is really fast and has a lot of spin. Um, but it's really hard to control. Contact length is a very subjective feel as it, yeah, as it's hard to picture or measure since it's a matter of hundreds of a second. But with some rackets, you feel like you have a second to think about making a decision. That's how long the contact feels on the racket. Others come off the rubber so quickly that you are surprised yourself. I have a feeling which racket has which characteristics. Advantages of a slow bat are the longer contact length. You simply feel the ball better. You have also a better control. It's more forgiving, but of course you need more power to hit final shots. Advantages of a fast racket are the pure power. You need much less strength, but it also forgives no mistakes due to the flat arc. The slow racket is more useful for beginners who need more ball control. In addition, defensive players can also benefit from the fact that they can give much more cut to the ball without the ball flying too far. Block players will be much safer from the long contact time and can still control the ball properly. The fast racket is for attackers, for kamikaze players who want to make fast points but also players who do not have the fastest arm pull or power can go for the fast racket. I hope you enjoyed the comparison. For me, it was a great fun. <laughs>